Hi, I'm Emily Brogan from Edith Cowan University. This presentation is titled Lost for Words. I'm going to tell you about Bruce. Bruce was at his daughter's engagement party. He stood next to his wife in front of family and friends to make a congratulatory speech to the happy couple. But Bruce was lost for words. Not because of the emotion of the occasion or because he didn't like public speaking, but because Bruce has aphasia. Aphasia is a communication disability. It's common after a stroke. It affects reading, writing, understanding and speaking. Aphasia is caused by a blockage in neural pathways that make up words. There are more Australians living with aphasia now than Parkinson's disease, cerebral palsy and muscular dystrophy combined. We don't know how to best treat aphasia. What we do know from research is that people with aphasia can get better. Treatment needs to start immediately and everyone has a different recovery. What we need to know is what parts of speech therapy will give the best recovery after stroke. I've watched many therapy videos looking at what therapists do and how patients respond. In a standard 40 minute speech therapy session, my research has identified three dominant ingredients. The patient talks more, the patient makes less mistakes, and the therapist gives as many hints as possible to find the words. And these ingredients happen about 500 times a session. What we need to know is what ratio of these ingredients gives the best dose for a better speech recovery. Now I could have told you about Sarah who has aphasia and couldn't speak in court and lost custody of her children. Or I could have told you about Jane who can't homeschool her children at the moment because she doesn't understand the homework. But I've told you about Bruce. And that's because in Bruce's story and with further research into aphasia, there is hope that this isn't a life sentence. One year after the engagement party, Bruce, the father of the bride, gave a beautiful speech at his daughter's wedding. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. And this time, I was lost for words. Bruce and I had worked on that speech for hours in therapy. Something as simple as, I'm proud of you, was hard to say. I became a speech therapist and I'm here talking to you now because I believe in the power of communication. And I became a researcher because people like Bruce, stroke survivors with aphasia, their strength and determination made me listen to them and want to do better. Thank you.